Hi everyone, this is Mahmoud Sheikh and in today's video, I will discuss about differences between data abstraction and data encapsulation. In my last video, I had a discussion on what is data abstraction and what is data encapsulation. So Now in this video, we will see the difference between both of these concepts of object oriented programming. Okay, so now in the data abstraction, it's all about getting the information. Okay, so in data abstraction with the data abstraction what we do is how we display the data to the users okay how we get the information and what information we are getting and displaying to the user and in data encapsulation it's all about containing the information so how we are organizing the data with the help of various access modifier and various functions next point problem is solved at design or interface level so here in data abstraction we focus on what information we are displaying in the form of an interface to the user are we displaying only relevant information in our design or we are displaying some unrelevant information also to the user with the help of our design but in data encapsulation here the problem is solved at implementation level okay so here the main focus is on the implementation how we are writing the code that only will be focused in data encapsulation in data abstraction data abstraction is focused on what object does instead of okay how it does it so as i have said in data abstraction we are mainly focused on what the object of the class does instead of how we are doing it what approach we are using we never bother about that okay we only focus on what information we are providing to the user in data encapsulation here it is focused on how it should be done okay it's exactly opposite with the data abstraction in data abstraction it shows only that information which is needed to the user as i already told okay we are not providing unrelevant information to the user but in data encapsulation it hides information in a single unit and it can be a class or a function with appropriate access specifiers here we are hiding the information inside the class as a single unit okay where our data and member functions are arranged uh, by using various access specifiers in data abstraction data abstraction can be done by restricting unwanted data from the users here we are restricting unwanted data from the users and allowing only relevant data to the users in data encapsulation can be done using a class or a function data abstraction increases efficiency by keeping only relevant data while hiding the irrelevant data as a result of that complexity gets reduced okay so since we already know that in data abstraction we are only providing relevant information and hiding irrelevant information which increases the efficiency of our program and reduces the complexity of the program because the code will get reduced as a result of that complexity will get reduced and efficiency gets increased and in data encapsulation side it combines the data and functions together in a single unit okay so in a single unit we are combining both our data and member functions and we try to protect these data members and member functions from outside sources or from external sources okay so with the help of some access specifiers which are private public and protected okay so these are some of the differences between data abstraction and data encapsulation okay so i hope you understood the differences between both of these important concepts okay so i hope you like this video i hope you understood uh, both of these concepts and differences between these two okay so that's all for this video guys if you like this video click on like button share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching